Okay, I'm going to be uh, creating clones. This is a sucker that I clipped off of my um, Big Beef hybrid. Big Beef is one of the best uh, plants I believe to grow because it's uh, resistant to so many different uh, funguses and attacks from uh, bugs and everything. Anyways, this is my first time uh, that I'm going to be attempting to clone uh, something. So this is one of the suckers I took off the plant. Now one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at an angle to try and get more root to come out. Now according to, I'm going to be using uh, this root hormone called rooting. Got this at Home Depot. They tell me to stick it in water first, that way uh, this root hormone that I'm going to be using is actually a powder. So, sticking it in there. They said tap it off, any excess. And I'm going to go ahead and put it here. I'm sticking it all the way down at the bottom and covering it up with some nice fresh dirt. Move that back a little bit so you guys can see it. Putting this in, I'm putting the dirt in later because I was concerned that uh, if I did all this and then tried to put the plant in that it would maybe hurt the hurt the stalk or uh, possibly some of the root hormone may come off as I'm pushing it through the dirt. So I went ahead and put it in, then put the dirt in. And I just knocked over root hormone onto my remote control. Okay, I don't know if root hormone is safe uh, around children, so you don't need uh, roots coming out of your kids. Anyways, I'm going to put that one to the side. We're going to do a much smaller one this time. Okay, uh, this one I'm going to go ahead and try to get a nice little angle on it again. There we go. I don't know if you can see that at an angle. Bring my water over, dip it in the water. By the way, dipping it in the water is basically so this hormone powder will stick to it. Sticking this in the root hormone, tapping the excess off. This one I'm not going to go completely to the bottom on. Filling it up. It's not quite in the middle. I don't really care. Tapping this down a little bit just so it'll be firm. And this is a, uh, I don't know, it's peat moss or something. Uh, I'm going to let this stuff grow for a couple days when I see that both of the clones are growing. I'm then going to go ahead and just transplant these right into the ground. Not even going to uh, pull these out. These things will just biodegrade and the roots will go right through it. Um, I do want to mention one other thing. I had this my first year in uh, getting uh, growing tomatoes, and I found the coolest thing. They're called soft twist ties. So I actually have uh, bamboo stakes out there, and I was using this really uh, just wire uh, that I got in the uh, vegetable section over at Home Depot. I bought these at Home Depot. I think they were a dollar ninety or something like that. Uh, it says three forty nine on the package. I think it was literally two dollars or something. But these are nice and soft. Okay, I mean they're like mushy, and they're not going to hurt as the uh, plant starts to grow. I'm in Florida, so we get some uh, crazy wind here. Um, so if you are staking your tomatoes, you may want to go to Home Depot and ask people for the, it's called the soft twist tie. And the place I found this was not where all the stakes and everything are for tomatoes. Look in the seed section, wherever the, the seed displays are at Home Depot. 
uh, you'll find these uh, soft twist ties. At least I did. If not, you can go on Amazon and type in soft twist ties and uh, find them there. Anyways, I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll do an update as to uh, how these beautiful clones are doing. Also, just in case anyone was going to ask, these are called Big Beef. Uh, very big tomatoes. They're indeterminate. They grow very tall. So, um, anyways. Oh, and I will give you a shot of my garden. Here's my pool. But over here, I don't know how well you can see these. These are my tomatoes. And they are doing very, very well. Anyways, that's it. I'm out.